Hey everybody, welcome back to Earthbound Beginnings. I'm Bean, and last time we arrived in the town of LA, the final town in the game. And we've already gotten ourselves into a world of hurt thanks to the BB Gang. This guy wears a stocking on his head, and he's just fighting us because we decided to talk to him. But fortunately, he is no match for the fellows who just went through the gruelingest swamp that there is. There's uh, NPCs like that littered all around town. They look like that. You talk to them, they give you a little sass, and then they fight you. They're all very easy, and they don't give you very much experience, so there's really not much point to fighting them, because unless you really want to grind experience in an inefficient way, ah, you're right about that, low HP, my friend. Um, yeah. The best part about those guys uh, is that the BB is short for Blah Blah Gang, uh, so that's pretty delightful. I need that secret though. Treble's real name is Treble Jr. the Third. One single laugh. So yeah, the other thing I like about these guys is you can just keep fighting the same guy over and over again. They'll keep fighting you repeatedly, and they'll keep losing every time. Uh, it's some real tenacity from these gang members. Another reference to the mountains. Love and peace. Yeah, I like that guy. CLA isn't all trouble. It isn't, it isn't all gang members. It's all there's some wholehearted folk here too. I'm trouble to find some wholehearted folk in the police station too. Just kidding. This guy's a corrupt cop who's gonna sell us weapons, maybe. Funny, weird little running theme in Earth in all Earthbound games, uh, all Mother games. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to find an honest police officer. You can take that as you will. Ah, I mean you're not wrong. Hey, a full thrower, which stands for flamethrower. That's a very, very good item, and actually one reason that the BB Gang is useful, because they drop these. It's a stumpy exclusive item that acts basically the same way as PK Fire. I insist this. I'm going to start saying that out loud all the time. Uh, yeah, the Flamethrower acts the same as PK Fire, which I haven't really been using that often. Probably will be using it a little more as we get into the uh, final stretch of the game. Very useful item for Stumpy. In the future, I will probably grind out some battles against the BB Gang so I can have a bunch of flamethrowers at my disposal. And actually make some use of this Stumpy Stumpy boy. Or this little weakling. A ticket to the live show. Store is all sold out. Mmm, I don't believe you about the store being sold out, to be honest. I'm gonna check the store myself. Never trust a scalper. Unless the tickets are actually sold out. Sure enough, we can save some hundreds of dollars by just going to the store and buying the ticket. Both tickets, I believe, are valid, so... Just it's a matter of how much money do you want to spend. So let's go to the Live House, LA's central attraction. Also, hey, remember this guy? Remember how he let us drive around in a tank? He wants us to pay for the tank that we busted, and, you know, I kind of see, I'm kind of of two minds, you know, we did bust up his tank, but he also did allow, like, a group of ten-year-olds to drive it through the desert unsupervised, so, you know, he's not blameless. Anyways, what do you say we kick back and enjoy some time at the live house? Well, heck, we're off to a pretty good start, I'd say. Let's get that drink. Hmm. Uh-oh. I don't think that was soda we ordered. This cop is going to stand on our table and then arrest us. Take us all the way to the station. Walk of shame. Already, the urban lifestyle has corrupted my youthful ways. Mom's not going to be happy about this one.
Yeah, yeah. I hear you, officer. So now we spend a night in the old drunk tank. Critical part of growing up. I promise. Ah, but actually for real my weapon does get confiscated. Only Bean's weapon. Never mind Stumpy's flamethrower. Just my boomerang. And then this cop who was telling us about weapons before sells it to us for a markup. One trip to the ATM later, I'm going to buy back my weapon from this corrupt cop who's just standing in the corner. <laughs> Clearly there's a racket going on. Clearly they have it set up. They have a trap set up in the live house so that they can confiscate weapons from people and... You know? I think this game might have some things to say about uh, officers of the law. You know, who watches the watchmen and all that. dorkiest possible way I could have phrased that. Anyways, we're finally ready to enjoy a concert. Just kidding, we don't have a ticket because we spent it already last time. We gotta go back to the department store and buy it, and then one trip to the department store later, we are ready to finally, without any police interference, just enjoy Oh, poor trouble. We did step on the landmine. I don't know if a landmine and dog crap are the same. Also, bold of this game to include the word crap. Who are you, and why are you in this room and criticizing a conversation you don't understand? Sure? All right. Turns out the concert was inside us all along. Yes. Heck yes. This is another Earthbound tradition. The choreographed sprites move around set to music. Everybody's dancing and having a good time. We're really killing it. just gently, slowly moving back and forth across the stage. Tearing it up in LA. Good song too, that only exists for this scene. Was this... Like is there another band that was supposed to play? It literally is not even kind of explained why or how we know this dance, but it's just a nice little moment that the game decides to throw at us after a pretty tough uh, gauntlet that we just ran. This song, like many of the other songs, actually has lyrics written for it. I don't know them, but I'm sure they're charming. Thanks, band. Also, where's the band? <laughs> You're welcome, guy. Um... <laughs> yes? No? Uh... So here's BB's boss. The boss of the BB gang. After we beat up every, <laughs> almost every single gang member. Bean and him are just gonna trade some blows for a bit. Note that only Bean gets to attack right now. Also, this guy's got a very good sprite and a very skinny legs. Weird little text error there. <laughs> I, I guess I'm quite a guy. Great. Trading some blows. <laughs> yep, sure. Great. Um, 
So after, you know, some male bonding, by trading just a few friendly punches, we now have a new friend who's taken Stumpy's place. He's gonna take the sword that we picked up in Magicant all those episodes ago, and he's gonna equip it. He's the swordsman. And we're going to avenge his parents in the mountains, I guess. That's a really fast introduction to a whole new character. <laughs> Well, I think that about wraps it up for this episode. We made a new friend, I guess, and next time we'll keep on keeping on. Thanks for watching, and bye.